All right, everyone. Um, it's me, Juan Luna. Um, so yeah, here's my PS5 controller. It's about a, a year and five months old. This is a launch edition controller, and it just started a couple days ago having a stick drift problem. So it's not bad for a year and like five months. That's not bad at all. Um, so the one that's having this issue is this side. So I'm actually about to show you here. I'm loading up uh, Call of Duty Warzone, just so you guys can see. Now, luckily I have the Best Buy two-year warranty for Geek Squad. So I'm gonna take it today and see if it was worth the money. See if they're gonna replace it for me or they're gonna fix it. I'm assuming they're gonna replace it. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're gonna go get that done. But I'm, let me show you what I, like what is happening pretty much. All right, so we're here in Warzone, as you can see. It's the, 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 the cursor is just moving. Not good at all. So yeah, that's definitely um, some stick drift. And I just want to take some time to look at this controller. I mean, as you can see, it's not even worn down. I don't really play much. You know, maybe like an hour every day um, at best. Back here, it's a little dirty as you can see. It has like some scuffings and it's like kind of bold dark. Um, kind of where the indents are. You can kind of see the, the PlayStation symbols right there. That's really cool. So yeah, this was the launch controller. Um, the triggers work perfectly. It was just this thumbstick. So, you know, um, yeah, the warranty is like a two-year warranty. So it protects one controller and the console. So I still have like a couple months left. That's until November. Right now it's um, April like 4th, I think. So I still have a long time. And I was going to let this like kind of just go. But yeah, I started noticing it just kind of getting worse and worse um you know and it isn't bad but it, it's noticeable and you know if i already have a warranty for it I might as well just go get a new controller so i don't know if they're even gonna accept it or they're gonna need me to come back with an appointment you can kind of see it in there it's kind of uh, it's dirty there uh but whatever uh from what i read they're just supposed to give me a new one like replacing as far as i'm concerned i don't need an appointment um because it can't be fixed um but we'll see right now we'll see in like 15 minutes when i drive up there but yeah, it sucks to see this bad boy go, but it is what it is. Um, and yeah, we'll see what they give me. All right, y'all, I just came back from Best Buy. It was a pain. So pretty much what he said was, um, it, I, it, it was like 40 minutes I had to wait. But anyways, um, the Geek Squad guy pretty much told me, yeah, they're just going to ship you one, like a brand new one or something, like a replacement. I don't know if it's new. Um, they're going to ship me one and then I have to ship this one back in the same box. I'm like, all right, man, whatever. So yeah, I got the paper right here. I'm not going to show you guys it, but yeah, it says replacement part selected, controllers and remotes, estimated completion date. That's going to be about like by the 8th of April. But yeah, I mean, Hey, the control lasts me a whole year. Then again, I don't play much, you know, but I do give these controllers a beatings. I'm not going to lie when I do use them. So it is what it is. It's a free controller. I'm gonna be getting at least another one that's gonna be working. So let's see what I receive. I'll let you guys know when it uh, ships, when it, uh, when I receive it actually, when I get it delivered. And we'll go through it and ship the other one back. But oh well. And it finally showed up. I was literally about to play, uh, I think it's like Call of Duty Vanguard. And I heard a, a ring at the doorbell. So let's open this up without further ado. It's a very small little box. I'm actually curious to see what's inside. All right, got one side down. Really hard to do when you're recording with one hand. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you guys are wasting your time. Uh, all right, let's pry it open. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, you guys can already see it someone else's controller <laughs> oh man look at this okay oh wow okay so yeah prepaid shipping envelope and back here is the uh the return label i'm not going to show that that is cool and here is the controller i received so um vgh I have no clue what that is. Let's turn on the flashlight here. BGH. 
Okay, let's take this off here, this padding. Um, how do I do this? It's such a task, man. Uh, okay, I think it's just pulling. I have to put the phone down to this. Okay, no, we're, we're ripping it. We're ripping it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what they sent in here. <clears throat> um, so it is a used controller. Let's see here the wear and tear. So that's kind of shiny. Let me see if this one is. I'm not. Yeah, so this one's not at all, as you can see. Um, there's just not. I mean, there's markings and stuff. That's mine. I haven't cleaned it. But over here, you can see it's like bare bone. Like, that's like when you place it like on a table and it like wears off. So just to compare what a new one looks like, okay. So let's remove, let's check it out. So this is like a new controller, as you can see. Really brand spanking new, as far as I know. And you can see, beautiful controller. No markings, nothing, just brand new. Not used once. And this one has a lot of like weird wear on it because it's like weird scratches and stuff. So I don't really like that. Um, but yeah, let me try it out and see what happens. All right, got the USB-C cable. I'm gonna plug it in. Where is it? Here it is. And in it goes. It's charging. Um, this is if I wanna update, I will do that later. So this is gonna be the new controller. Yeah, the other one just turned off. Okay. Um, this is gonna be interesting. So one of the games I was having issues with was Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare, or Warzone, I guess. So we're gonna try it and seeing if this thing has any issues. So now for the real test, Astro's Playroom. So I just played um, Call of Duty Warzone and it worked all right. It seemed like everything was fine. There was no drift, of course, um, expected. Okay. That's one adaptive trigger. Let me try the other one. Really weak. They're not as strong as I remember. Then again, I don't know. I'll have to check with the other controller. Yeah, touchpad works. Um, yeah, works. All right, everyone. So I tested the controller. It works. But I have a pet peeve with it, and it's the markings. Like, it's just so beaten up and, like, just bad like it isn't even like you know like here here i didn't even notice this at first but you could see there's like a chunk of plastic missing you can't really see with the reflection but there's like a little like piece just chipped off completely and like you could see here the black um has like a little crack there you can see that another little smudge here um not looking too good for this controller I'm going to see if I can pull off a, a switcheroo. What I was thinking and I was noticing is I could literally just take the shell um, and just keep it for myself. So that would include, that would be like everything here and just keeping it for myself. So I'm going to try and take it apart. I'm going to try to keep everything inside and just um, keep pretty much the insides and then just um, pretty much transfer the case from one to the other because like I said mine is not that beaten up like I said I treat my controllers really well as you can see they are a little dirty that's just expected but you can see there's no like scuff marks or anything here because I haven't dropped it I haven't done anything crazy to it um, one thing I am noticing is I guess these are a little newer uh, the thumb the thumb things uh, they feel a little newer more newer like more gr grippier than these but I really don't care um, like I said, the condition though is just not decent, but I think I can actually keep these and like just transfer over at like the, the insides from one to the other and then just send back the beaten up case because who cares about that? 
Um, could I pull it off? Probably. Um, I've done. I've taken apart other controllers before, and this one doesn't have any like warranty stickers outside, at least. So we're gonna try this. Uh, I'm not gonna film it because it's gonna be a pain. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I looked it up, and there's like no warranty sticker that would be noticeable to take these apart. So I'm gonna take them apart, switch just like the shells, and then. Um, and then send it back. Uh, I already got my iFixit kit. I have a tutorial ready. Let's see what happens. All right, everyone, as you can see, um, this is the, the beaten up controller I received. As you can see, it, it is worn out right there. So, so what I ended up doing, I just switched the shells. So as you can see, it's drifting. Me not doing anything, it's just drifting. So it was successful. Now, let's try out Astro's Playroom. Um, I had a problem. So apparently the touch pads are different. So at first I reassembled them, but the touch pads didn't work. So I ended up having to deassemble de them and, you know, just pretty much rebuild them and switch out the, the touch pads. You know, it was easy. Not too bad. So let's begin here. So this is I already tested this one out. It's perfect, as you can see. This is the one I had. As you can see, it's not worn out as much. Uh, it is a little dirty, but whatever. But I already tested it out. It is not drifting. It is perfect. Everything works. The vibration and everything works. So it is awesome. I ended up actually messing up the microphone on this one. Um, you know, this is the first one I opened because I was like, I'm just gonna mess it up. So. Uh, it's damaged. I really don't care. It's going to be returned and they're going to have to deal with it. And yeah, as you can see, you can hear uh, loud noises and adaptive triggers. Definitely. There they are. Try the other one. <laughs> uh, yeah, adaptive triggers. As you can see, it's really bright. Um, yeah, I think I accidentally hit the, the back button, so it's rebuilding again. Okay, X. Okay, I have to do both. Oh yes, it works. Oh my gosh, thank lord. It works. Awesome. And the motion. It works. Awesome. And the weird thing is, it doesn't show up as like, um, as, um, what do you call it? You know, as messing up. So you can see it moves fine. There's no issues here. There's no drift. But in game, there is dr definitely drift. So I don't know. It is definitely the controller though, because this one does not do it. So it is definitely the controller. Okay, so here's the microphone. So so we're gonna you know, unmute it, as you can see there. And then if I blow on it, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's it's pretty much dead. Um, whatever. I really don't care. This is the one that's returning, um, and they will have to deal with it. So oh, this light's so bright. So there we go, you guys. I'm so tired um, and just stressed out. It all worked out. Um, I'd be shipping it out tomorrow. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with the result, even though I didn't get you know, a brand new replacement. Uh, I expected it to be used, let's be real here. Um, yeah, it worked out. I swapped them, hopefully there's no issue with that. Um, I covered my tracks pretty well, I, so you know, they don't trace it. Um, so it should be fine. And if there's an issue, I really don't care. The reason I wanted to also keep the, the, the outside or the case of the controller, it's just, it's just momentums, you know, it's like, it's my first, this was the controller that came with the console. So just being able to swap these out, eventually I'll just buy like the newer controllers, like the blue ones, uh, the ones that are supposedly have a fix for the drift or are better you know against the drift and just swap them out probably because they're the same damn thing so they can probably just be swapped out and i can keep this casing around um and yeah the only thing that is going to go away is the r2 the r2 l2 buttons those are stuck on um well not stuck on yeah i can remove them but there's no point in that uh, other than that everything else is pretty much the same am i happy with the result yes uh for sure was it worth the what is it like seventy dollars um or eighty dollars for the two-year warranty definitely i mean it just gives you a peace of mind you know um something to fall back on um like i said the controller is working now 
uh, even though I got a worse controller, it is a working controller. So that really is all that matters. But I am I am picky when it comes to that stuff. Um, you know, I want something that works, but also that looks good. Um, and why not just keep the one I already have, the one that, you know, I haven't damaged or anything. Um, but yeah, that's just me with my pet peeves, I guess. Not only did I finesse them with um, a motherboard that has drift, but I also finessed them with the case. So I get to keep my case and they get the, the, the crappier one. Uh, I feel bad for whoever gets this this freaking controller because it is beaten up. I mean, you know, at least for me, it doesn't look good. You know what I mean? And especially if mine is decent, I want to keep that. <laughs> and yeah, let's ship it. All right, we're going to use the materials they gave us. We're just gonna wrap it like this. We'll get a piece of tape here. And taped. There you go. It's now taped. Um ugh, that's stuck. Alright. So we're just gonna bubble wrap on. Last time I'm seeing their controller. <laughs> it's literally their controller. All I did was change the parts. It's so funny to me. Oh, man. Alright. There we go. Um, yeah, let me tape it shut. Alright, well, here it is. Packaged up and ready. Um, so I'm going to take this right now to the, you, uh, the post office. Uh, I was really tired yesterday. I was just slurring. I was just dead. Um, but yeah, I got it done. I'm really happy with the results. Um, and honestly, the PS5 controller isn't that hard to take apart, uh, believe it or not. Um, and yeah, I got practice now, so I should be good for this generation. So this is actually going to a recycling center, which is very interesting. Uh, it says, thank you for recycling. And then at the bottom where my uh, pinky is, it says recycling center. What's even funnier is... Um, there's no warranty stickers on these controllers, so you're literally freely just to open them up, do whatever you want with them, and then just put them back. As long as you put them back together, you should be fine. All right, everyone, I just came back from the post office. Um, everything is shipped out and ready. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it, I think. I don't think there's much else to update to the story. Um, yeah, it was interesting to see how it worked, and luckily it was able to be resolved, and I got my way with my items over there. You see it's charging down there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this, like, I guess shows you kind of how the process is, um, or what you have to do when, if it's even convenient for you to even buy this protection plan. In my case it is, cause I mean, my controller got fixed, even though, I don't know, it's like a good, it's like a win-lose situation cause I still got a crappier controller and I wasted my time taking it apart, but it was a fun experience for me because I can finally, you know, I was able to, to just take it apart and um, I'm pretty much an expert in the controller now at this point because I took it apart like four, like uh, three times. So, and that was like for each controller. So not a bad process personally. I think I did win knowledge of how taking it apart and, you know, I can main, um, the thing I take from it though is now I can maintain them so I can maintenance them if needed. So if I need to replace something, it's super simple and it can be done like that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and I'll talk to you all later.